Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Whimsy. Hope you guys all had a great Halloween. I was going to upload or show a uh, an older video of Nuke's Top 10. I thought I would do a reaction video. If you guys have not checked out Nuke's Top 10 yet, I highly advise you to do so because it's pretty awesome. And I was going to show a video today. I did a recording when I found out that they had just uploaded a new video. This one is 10 scary ghost videos that will give you the shudders. I advise you guys to click on it and watch the full video if you want to, or you can watch it, stay here and watch it with me. <laughs> we'll be watching it together, so it won't be as scary. And I just skipped a little bit ahead to the actual getting right to the stories. So let's get into this and see what it's all about. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. I love this show so much. I think it should be on TV. I think it should have its own show, not just YouTube. Top five. Ooh. Top ten. Top ten. Ghost. Call on camera. The Haunted Hill House. Ooh. Haunted, haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the U.S. With an over 125 year dark and troubling past, that doesn't come as much of a surprise. The home was once a haven for illegal activity. It served as a gambling hall, a bootlegging operation, uh -oh. and even a brothel. It also served as a makeshift hospital for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. It is said that the Haunted Hill House is inhabited by the ghosts of at least nine people who lost their lives there. The Hill House can be rented out for ghost tours and investigations by interested groups and curiosity seekers. So one night in late September, a group of friends and family rented the Hill House just to have a little fun. Of course. None of the group were quote unquote paranormal investigators. In fact, many of them were doubters who just wanted to prove that the so-called Haunted Hill House wasn't actually haunted at all. But that's not exactly how things went down. Uh -oh. The house is said to be haunted by one particularly violent spirit that the house's owners refer to as Dr. Yeager. One of the visitors, Victoria, lays down on the bed in one of the rooms and jokingly starts taunting Dr. Yeager. You never do that. It did not go well. Never does. As you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. And then they ran out. We're going to rewind that and we're going to show you in regular screen. Something seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends look on in terror. The house has a static black and white security camera in every room and it catches the action as Victoria is pulled off the bed and the group makes a run for it. One of the guys is so shook, he even drops his phone and just leaves it on the floor behind him. Now, cut to almost one hour later, around 3 a.m. A guy named Drew wants to test this alleged paranormal activity for himself. So he enters the same bedroom and immediately begins taunting the ghost of, quote, Dr. Yeager. He says that the spirit is a coward and that if he really wants to attack someone, why doesn't he try attacking a man instead? Whoa. Okay. Look at the guy in the white hat right here, guys. Follow him. Before I even finish my sentence, I'm in the air. All right, we're going to pull back. Did you see he got pushed? It's kind of hard to see because so there's people Drew in front got of his him. wish. He is violently shoved by something and then he almost knocks down his two friends while making a mad dash from the room. Oopsie. It should be noted here that Drew has gone on record as saying that he will never set foot inside the Haunted Hill House ever again. But it gets even weirder. Uh -oh. After Drew is pushed and he and his friends run from the room, something seems to yank the door shut behind them. If you watch closely, you can actually see the door not move as if it's being pulled. So is the Haunted Hill House one of the most haunted places on Earth? Would you go into that room and talk the spirit of uh, Dr. Yeager? No. Let me know <laughs> down in the comments. Invisible friend. Uh-oh. TikTok user Luan, also known as Joshua Locke from Mexico, had a TikTok account dedicated entirely to his two-year-old son. Luan operates a general store on the first floor of his house that he shares with his wife and children. 
Then one day, Luan's video content drastically changes as his two-year-old son begins to claim that he sees what he describes as a terrifying, invisible child. This alleged invisible child scares Luan's son so much that he often cries in fear. Luan oh, says nice. that he doesn't see anything. But he says he has experienced a few strange incidents with things around the house seeming to move on their own. Uh oh. Then late one night at four in the morning, Luan is awoken by unexplained loud noises coming from downstairs. Thinking his store is getting robbed, he records everything as he runs downstairs. Buenos amigos. Bajé. Porque empezamos a escuchar ruidos y vi nada a vuelta. Tenía miedo de que estuvieran abriendo la tienda o algo así, pero no. Vean, no hay nada. Oh, ah, cabrón. Si ¿Sí vieron. Ya. Yeah. No sé qué pasó. Mejor me voy y le digo a mi esposa porque esta chingadera se movió sola y ya me está dando cosita. Es muy raro. For the first time, Luan captures something on camera that he can't explain. A chair moves on its own. Over the next few days, the unexplained activity seems to intensify every single night. Wow. Things fall off shelves without explanation. The family starts to hear whispers. And late at night, they hear a light tapping sound coming from inside their bedroom closet. One night when the knocking sound from inside the closet becomes terrifyingly loud, Luan once again decides to record to collect proof. Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quieres algo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? No inventes, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Te podemos ayudar? ¿Necesitas algo? Dinos, dinos. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es Espera. Espérate, alúzame. No hay nada, mira, no hay nada, no hay nada. No sé, no sé. ¿Sabes qué? ¿Sabes, ¿sabes qué? Vamos con los niños. Vamos con los niños, yo creo, mira. Aquí no hay nada. De este lado tampoco hay nada. Aquí tampoco. Vámonos con los niños, vete. Luan and his wife are lying in bed when the closet door swings open on its own. Maybe see the head. Then something seems to peek out at them from inside the closet. Luan rushes over to look inside, but there's nothing there. His wife seems legitimately terrified. Uh, you think? They take the kids and leave the home for the night. Of course, eventually, Luan and his family have to return. So they decide to do an overnight recording session, hoping to catch some evidence of the strange activity in their home. What they capture is downright chilling. chilling. You record over there. Oh. The one claims that his phone battery died right at the moment he captured something terrifying on camera. A face with glowing eyes is staring right at them from the entrance of the store. But the bizarre activity didn't end there. On another night, Luan hears something knocking on their door. He turns on all the lights and once again starts recording. Buenas noches, amigos. Me tocaron la puerta. Este carrito estaba en el sillón. Se cayó. Como saben, me duermo a veces en la sala, pues porque me siento nervioso. 
no hay nadie aquí afuera, también he prendido la luz, pues para sentirme un poquito más seguro, se escuchan ruidos, se ha escuchado murmullos, aquí en el baño, no sé si será aquí, como pueden ver, está así, ya sea por acá, vamos a checar si de acá viene, no, está todo tranquilo, vamos a ver si aquí de la tienda, si entro de la tienda, parece que aquí no es, se quieren acá, vengan, vamos a ver, no, aquí no son, vénganse, vámonos por acá, no sé qué está pasando, mejor vámonos, vengan, me siento nervioso, vámonos. As he pans his camera, oh, cool. someone or something with What? long dark hair seems to quickly move away and out of sight. But nothing compares to what happens on the night of October 18th. Uh, when the one goes to the restroom, something knocks on his bathroom door. Oh. That's when things get truly bizarre. You see the orbs flying around? And he starts to knock on the door. I'm very nervous. I don't know what to do. I'm going to knock on the door. I'm going to knock on the door. Se ve una sombra. Mira, se está moviendo esto. Pero no hay nada aquí. No hay nada aquí. De este lado. Se ve una sombra, se ve una sombra. No sé qué hacer, amigos. Estoy un poco nervioso. Estoy un poco nervioso. Se ve algo en la tienda. Venga, vamos a ver. Vamos a la tienda. Vamos a la tienda. Vamos a ver. Venga. 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 Se ponen unas cajas de refresco. I saw something. Unas rejas. Unas rejas se cayeron. Mira. Se oye algo al frente. Pero un susurro. Something knocks on the door. Mm -hmm. Objects have fallen on the floor. Exercise equipment is moving on its own. But creepiest of all, as Luan pans his camera around his living room, in one split second, he captures a shadow figure sitting on his couch. The same couch that was empty only a moment earlier. So what do you think is happening to Luan and his family? Okay. Is their home and store haunted by a dark entity? Or... Is it all just an elaborate hoax? That's hard to say. You decide. But if it is just a hoax, a video, it's a pretty good hoax. I'm just saying. If you have a ghost on the channel and you caught something great, contact Ooh, me at newstopliveat.com. I've seen the show behind me. And Watcher. I'm okay. So far. The following footage was sent to me by a new Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain completely anonymous to protect his job. So for the purposes of protecting his anonymity, I'll simply refer to him as John in the video. Sounds so, good. John says that he works overnight security at a well-known logistics company. He says that one night, a fellow worker at his job became overheated and collapsed, falling over a two-story high railing. Unfortunately, he did not survive the fall. Much later that same night, at around 3 a.m. in the morning, John says that he was doing what he calls, quote, camera patrol, basically just checking the footage from all of the building's inner and outer surveillance cameras. That's when he spotted this. Uh-oh. Hey, what's up, Nuke? Um, can't really be having my phone in here, so I have the brightness all the way down. But I am security at this place, and I am in the camera room where I'm having access to a lot of the cameras. And I just reported to my supervisor that I noticed someone just kind of like standing um, in the grass across from, uh, from the building, and I wanted to show it to you, um, so yeah, I can't have my phone on full on the screen for too long, but I'm going to try to show you the two best viewpoints that I have, um, so yeah, here's the first viewpoint, so it's that right there. There's no tree, there's nothing there. Right of my cursor, just to the right there. 
Summer's last. Here, I'll even try to zoom in. And, like, we got a bad viewpoint, but, like, there it is to the left. And, like, this is a 24 camera, 24 frame, uh, 1080p camera. But, like, it's so, like, dark and distinguished. So, yeah. John says that the misty shape of a person was just standing in a nearby field. That's John says that he watched for hours. He says the figure moved slightly from time to time, but never came any closer. Perhaps even more bizarre, he says that he almost felt like the misty figure was actually staring back at him through the cameras. Ooh, that's, that's abandoned. Cute. Popular Chinese ghost hunter King Ming from the YouTube channel O1 Supernatural Studio investigates an old abandoned house in Taiwan that has a dark past. As the story goes, a man and his elderly mother lived in the home. The man had a severe gambling addiction, and after taking all of his mother's money, he left the old woman all alone with nothing, not even food to eat. The poor old woman starved. Rumors say that her neglected spirit is unable to move on and still waits in the house for her son to return. Ghost hunter King Ming hears some odd sounds and voices in the abandoned house. But other than that, nothing much happens. That is, until he tells the sad story of what took place in the home. That's when things get downright chilling. <laughs> King Ming doesn't see it himself, but his camera records what appears to be a pale, translucent face peeking from behind a corner. Many of King Ming's viewers believe the mysterious face to be the elderly woman who passed away inside the home, still waiting for her son to return. Aww. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Okay. You know what I noticed? I've watched a, a, quite a few of these top five, Nuke's top five videos, these ghost videos, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if these ghosts are just shy or what, but they always seem to be peeking around the corner. Peeking, peekaboo. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's peekaboo. Because they're ghosts and they're peeking behind the corner. Let's continue. Connection from beyond. Sarah Lee Sager is jokingly recording the live feed from their new security camera as her boyfriend Stacy is outside their apartment in the dark, struggling to get the new camera installed. But even as Stacy is outside installing the brand new security camera, it captures someone who just shouldn't be there. Uh oh. I'm video recording him. Wait, I just seen that fucking something. Hi, Stacy. You look scary. Did you see it? No. A woman appears behind Stacy for a brief second and then disappears. And Sarah captures it all on her phone camera oh. inside. Stacy says he saw no one outside while installing the cam. But what makes this footage even more bizarre is that the figure has an eerie resemblance to a woman named Teresa Tingi who lost her life in 2008 under absolutely tragic circumstances very near this apartment. After discovering the shocking video, Sarah learns that the deceased woman was actually friends with her sister. Sarah feels that this possible connection to the spirit might have been the reason that she was able to capture the entity on video. Ooh. So did Sarah capture the ghost of Teresa Tinky, still wandering the streets where she lost her Maybe. life? You decide. Maybe. Lost in the cemetery. Back in 2015, Enzo Alonso from the YouTube channel La Ruta Occulta visited a cemetery in Chile while doing research about a boy who allegedly predicted his own death. Enzo suddenly hears footsteps on his left. He turns his head, but no one there. Cut to years later, Enzo is going through his old footage when he discovers something truly chilling. A child appears right behind him at the exact moment he says he heard footsteps. Oh. Even creepier, the child's skin seems green and discolored. 
Enzo claims that there were no children at the cemetery at the time of this recording. Certainly not any that looked like that. <laughs> yeah. He says that he and his friend were completely alone. Yeah. So is it a ghost caught on camera or just an elaborate hoax? A ghosty ghosty. A very, very strange hoax. Yeah. You can check out Enzo Alonso's YouTube channel, La Ruta Oculta, for more creepy paranormal investigations. Hi, Jumper. You can stop by viewer Tobias Olson recently reached out to me about some very strange footage caught on CCTV at his old job at a trampoline park in Sweden. After the park closed for the night, the building's alarm system went off without any reason. Confused by the alarm, the team checks the security footage, and they are shocked by what they find. Oh, I'm not. What appears to be a dark shadow moves across several security cameras. Now it's worth mentioning that these cameras are located 13 to 16 feet in the air and are separated by a distance of almost 100 feet. So nothing or no one could have moved across those cameras at this speed and at this height. So what could this mysterious shadow have been? Is it something supernatural or just a very specific pattern of odd camera glitches? Uh, Let me yeah. know what you think. Sure. Halloween haunt? Or really haunted. The old Truella Hospital opened in 1953. It was so severely underfunded that the hospital didn't even have a morgue for its dead. Bodies were simply stacked in an unrefrigerated room. These days, strange things are still going down at the old Truella Hospital. You see, a condemned section of the hospital is now used as a haunted Halloween attraction oh, called nice. Asylum 49. Many workers and visitors have claimed to see a terrifying shadow apparition that they call, quote, the man in black, who is definitely not part of the Halloween attraction. YouTube ghost hunters Ogden Paranormal investigated the abandoned hospital turned Halloween haunt and caught something downright creepy. Note that in this clip there is a mannequin of a character from the TV series American Horror Story that is a part of the haunted attraction, but the mannequin is not even remotely the scariest thing in this room. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know I told that lady that. I hate these things. Did you see it? Some strange shadow appears to be peering at them through the glass, but then just disappears into thin air. Oh. So did Ogden Paranormal catch the infamous man in black at the haunted old Tuella Hospital? Maybe. You decide. Maybe. Eyes in the dark. Ghost Hunter Sandro Silva from the YouTube channel Casa Soba Natural and its team members are invited to investigate an allegedly haunted farmhouse in the countryside of Brazil. The family that lives in the home claims that an old man haunts their farm and has made it nearly impossible for them to stay there. They hear loud unexplained sounds in the middle of the night and see shadows throughout their home. But creepiest of all, they often see the old man who haunts their home just sitting quietly in a chair in their house. Oh. As Sandro scary. and his team begin their investigation, they hear an odd sound. These people are pretty brave. Yeah, something seems to hit a drum in one of the rooms, not once, but twice. Almost like something is trying to get their attention. And then things mm -hmm. get truly bizarre. Oh, 
What the? Did you see it? Yeah. The team hears the creaking of a door that seems to be moving on its own. Mm. But what they don't realize is that someone or something is watching them from the dark. Oh, the figure with glowing eyes can be seen staring at them from behind the corner in the farmhouse hallway. When the video went live, YouTube viewers immediately pointed out the strange figure. But to this day, the creepy farmhouse lurker remains unexplained. You can check out the full video over on Sandro oh. Silva's YouTube channel, Casa Silva Natural. Spooky. The unwelcome roommate. Lainey and Ben are a British couple who say that their home is haunted by a very active poltergeist. For two years, they have witnessed objects moving or falling on their own. They felt the touch of something that just isn't there. Lights flicker randomly and for no reason. And they hear odd, unexplained sounds and voices. Creepiest of all, late one night, Lainey says that she woke up and saw the apparition of a woman standing at the foot of their bed. But it wasn't until the recent global lockdown when Lainey and Ben were forced to stay at home that the activity became so frequent that they decided to share their experience on TikTok and YouTube. Hmm. Okay, so just briefly, um, this is a mess, but it, this is my bedroom. And I've just been sat here just scrolling briefly. Now, every now and then, and you can see where it hits. Oh my God, it's just happened again. This thing, look, I'll just show you. There's nothing pulling that open. Every now and then I'll come upstairs and this is what's happening. That door just opened on the sign. I saw it as well. What are you going to do about it? Because I'm not dealing with it. Why do I always have to be the one? Like, it's like I'm the sacrificial lamb. Literally? Well, I don't want to have to be the one to deal with it. Oh. oh. Well. Right, it's Sunday morning. I'm going to need to calm down. That's well, no. I thought we were being burgled. So no. It's worse. <laughs> um, I can't be burgled. Me too. Uh, Sunday morning, we were just chilling out upstairs in bed and we just heard loads of noise. And this is what we come down to. <sighs> Covered in an absolute <laughs> mistake. Hang on, just... <sighs> oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god! Oh, <sighs> ben, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> After doing some research, Lainey and Ben discovered that the land their new home was built on used to be an old burial site where several skeletal remains were found during construction. The couple says that they don't feel the presence in their home to be aggressive right now, but the paranormal activity does seem to be becoming more extreme as the weeks pass. As it will. Ben. Look at him, man. Oh, so cute. But given the bloody his toys that we spent Aww. 30 quid on at the start, he won't play with them like this. He's not interested. Give him a ribbon that we found bloody lying That's about. That's like my cat. He loves it. Is that a ball? I think it was. <laughs> this book's just come off this shelf. And I blame... <gasps> I blame you. Why? No, hang on. I blame you. Why? Oh, it's broken. Why? I blame you because you were asking for something. Yeah, about an hour ago. Then, after all that, one night, things get truly bizarre. You gonna speak or not? Should yeah. I do it? Alright. That door was like, it was shut, but not on the latch, and it's just open. So, um... Yeah, like, now you, now but you've I got a load of grief in the comments because I sent you to go in and deal with this cupboard door, and now that door's triggered. So, and I'm not, I'm not down for that. <gasps> what in the? F <laughs> the story was attention. What the? But I say that there's something attached to that. Look under the foot table as well, showing there's no f in it. I'm not down for that. That's a dishwasher under the, well, you know, unit. 
washing machine. Where can somebody be hiding? Oh, that God. was me. Oh God, you can't even see up there. An empty water bottle flies across the kitchen, startling both Ben and Lainey. Lainey snatches it up immediately to prove that there are no wires or strings, and Ben reveals that there are no accomplices hiding in the kitchen cupboards. To this day, the couple continues to share their creepy experiences on their TikTok and YouTube channel, hoping one day they will find more answers to their mysterious haunting. Be sure to check out Lainey and Ben's YouTube Ooh, channel wow. and TikTok for future updates. Thanks for watching. Don't forget if you want a free 30 day Very trial cool. at Shutter.com, be sure to use the code NUKE in UK cool. and drop me a line on Instagram or Twitter to let me know what weird and creepy stuff you're watching. And see you next week. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you, Nukes Top 5. <laughs> um, yeah, Poltergeist, for those guys who don't know Poltergeist, if you've ever seen the movie Poltergeist, which I'm sure. Almost everybody has already seen that movie. Um, sorry, I'm getting spooked for no reason. <laughs> for no reason, I get scared. Okay, so anyways, poltergeists, they usually start off, they could be nothing more than just poltergeists, and they could just continually throw things around your house. But it could also be get stronger. Um, and of course, also, the more you're afraid, it feeds off the fear and it's able to use that energy because our fear is like energy and it's able to use that energy and get stronger and do more. Um, and that's why sometimes they'll do things just to scare us so they can use that energy to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So guys, I hope you like this video. If there is any other videos that you would like for me to have a reaction to, um, or anything you would like for me to check out, please let me know in the comments below. I will put the um, link of this video in the description box. Otherwise, guys, um, I love you. Stay safe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.